In this demonstration, we're going to have a look at how we can install a domain controller in a new domain in an existing forest. So what I've done here is I have my new machine. My new machine currently doesn't have Active Directory installed on it. So what we're going to do on this machine here is we are actually going to add the Active Directory roles and features. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just install the binaries. So what I've done here, I've come to Server Manager. I'm just going to click on Add Roles and Features. That's going to bring me in Wizard, so we'll select Next. What we're installing here is a role-based or feature-based installation, so we'll select Next. The server we're going to install, and I've already called the machine Tor-DC1, so we'll select Next. And the server roles we want to install here is we want to add the Active Directory domain services. That's going to install these additional features, which are just the admin tools, so we'll select Add Features. Select our Next button. Under Additional Features, we're not going to add any additional features, so we'll select Next. Just quickly read through the summary, select next, have a quick read through, so we're happy with all of this. So what we'll do is we'll select install. So it's going to take about 7 minutes, 8 minutes maybe to install the Active Directory binary, so we're not going to sit and watch that for 7 to 8 minutes. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just pause the presentation and return back once the binaries have been installed. So as we can see now the binaries are now installed so the next thing we need to do is promote this server to a domain controller. So we'll select the little button that says promote this to a domain controller. This now brings me in wizard so we'll just maximize up the wizard. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a new domain to an existing forest. It will be a child domain, it's going to be a child of a datum and our new domain here is going to be called any. And now we'll select next. So we'll just leave the domain function level as Windows Server 2012 R2. This will be a DNS server. It will also be a global catalog server. We're going to put in default first site name. We're not using active directory sites at this moment. And now all we need to do is put in directory services restore mode password. Just so if we do get any issues with the server, we can at least boot it up and still log in. And then what we'll do is select next. We will specify creating a DNS delegation. We'll create this with a datum backslash administrator and select next. We're not going to change anything on the NetBIOS domain name. We're going to leave the defaults for the paths for the database, the log files and sysvol folders. We'll have a quick read through. We're happy with all of that. So select next. Now it's going to go away and just do a prerequisite check. So we'll leave this running. We've got a warning. It's just telling us here that we have a default for the security setting to allow cryptography algorithms compatible with Windows NT4. Yeah, we can turn that off afterwards. Prerequisite check is complete with the information. We've got a tick. A tick is always good. So at this point here, all we now need to do is click our install button. Now this is going to take a little while just for it to go through and actually do the installation. So rather than sit and watch this, what we'll do is we'll just pause the presentation and return back once the installation is complete. So as we can see, installation of the domain control is now complete. The machine's going to restart, so we won't want to restart. Again, we'll just pause the presentation and return back once the machine has restarted. Our domain control is now rebooted, so as we can see here, we can now sign into our any domain. So we'll stick in our username and password of administrator and stick in our password as well. And then we'll log in. So as we can see, we've now logged in. We've logged into a child domain of a datum. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.